last night, an armed force, some of its members wearing Bosnian army uniforms, attacked the United Nations camp in Gorazde. UNPROFOR protests this act of banditry in the strongest possible form. Although UNPROFOR cannot believe that this attack was sanctioned in any way by local government authorities, nevertheless, UNPROFOR demands that the Bosnian government ensures that no such attacks against UN personnel happen in the future on territory controlled by Bosnian government forces. According to the commander of the Garage de Force, Lieutenant Colonel John Riley, the local civil and military authorities are currently cooperating with him in trying to restore calm and order in the area around the camp. It is almost impossible for UNPROFOR to function in such a climate of hostility. The British forces had arms to defend themselves during this attack. The UN military observers that will be stationed in the area do not carry arms. They are unarmed monitors of the situation on the ground and their security in Garajde will be of paramount importance to UNPROFOR so that they can perform their duties unhindered. It has to be acceptable to both the Bosnian Commander Garazde Force assesses that the attack did not have official Bosnian army backing, but was by renegade Bosnian army troops. He assesses the intent may have been criminal to steal United Nations equipment, and equally it may have been simply a test to test the United Nations resolve to safeguard and protect its own equipment. Quite simply, this was the UN defending itself and its base. Our commander, Grasno Force, had made the point repeatedly over the last three days to both sides that he will not countenance any attempt to steal United Nations equipment, weaponry, or any other kind. And here you see a degree of resolve to ensure that does not happen. Well, we've never used the word that piece. Please, please, first. Let's, let's